It is December 20th. It's time for another episode of Day of the Day. As we get to what, like... I think there's 11 left after this. Count... Count... The countdown is at 11. Oh, is the countdown at 12? How do we do this? I don't... You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we have a we have two days that are on the list for today, but I should mention because of yesterday, weird way it's written on the website it is written under December nineteenth, but it says changes annually December twentieth for twenty twenty, National Wreaths Across America Day. Again, the image is wreaths on gravestones, so I'm not touching that with a ten foot ten foot pole, but felt it necessary to bring up again because. It, the date on it is weird. The two days that are under for today are National Sangria Day, something I've not had, but sounds good. Like, fruity, whiny stuff. Sounds good. Sounds nice. And Mud with two Ds Day, which... Fuck. Some historical dude apparently had something to do with, I think, John Wilkes Booth that said. I don't... I don't fuck it. I don't, I don't care. Anyway. I have done research, mostly because it came up again. Like, two days ago, we had Answer the Telephone like Buddy the Elf Day, and I was like, who the fuck is Buddy the Elf? Is it something I don't get? Yeah, it's something I don't get, because I fucking hate that movie. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, I, someone, men someone mentioned the character on Twitter, I'm like, yeah, we had that a couple days ago, I should probably actually check who that is. Yeah, it's the char main character from the movie Elf, which is an awful movie. It's a bad, I don't know why people like that movie. Or maybe it's just me hating, like, awkward situations and cringe comedy and just, you know actively dying inside by you know anxiety by proxy <laughs> if you're watching that movie but yeah i don't i don't like it i also don't like home alone home alone is a shit movie as well home alone 2 is only go uh, any good because it has tim curry in it literally <laughs> i'm gonna have to watch it it's like if i have to watch a home alone movie it's gonna be two and it's because it's got tim curry in it because tim curry is the saving grace of most things <laughs> i feel like tim curry is the best part of the the muppets version of um, well, it's not the pirate one. Fuck, can't remember. It's not Pirates of the Caribbean, Brian. Come on, you can do this. Fuck. Ah, uh, <laughs> whatever it is. You know, the, the pirate, uh, no, not treasure. Is it Treasure Island? Might be Treasure Island. I don't remember. But yeah, the pirate, the, the pirate thing. Like, to be fair, that it's a Muppets movie, so it's pretty good anyway. But yeah, Tim Curry, adding Tim Curry into a Muppets movie is great idea. <laughs> And yeah, no, the Muppets Christmas Carol, Carol is the it is basically the only good Christmas movie I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck else is the Christmas movie wise that isn't just absolute trash or isn't really a Christmas? Like you've got, I've never watched The Great Escape. I have no intent to watch The Great Escape, but it's sort of it's sort of a it seems like it's a British tradition to watch that movie at Christmas. It's not, I don't think it's a Christmas movie by any capacity, but it it seems to have become a tradition. Uh... I don't know what else is there. In the same vein, never actually seen Die Hard all the way through. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I've never actually sat down and watched it because, because I just don't. <laughs> I'm not 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 the kind of like generic action movie car kind of guy. Uh, or Jingle All the Way. Uh, fucking, I have. A, I don't watch Christmas movies. Rise of the Guardians. Rise of the Guard. Rise of the Guardians is a good movie. That's. I feel like that's technically a Christmas movie because it has two wintry ga characters on it. Uh, that that's a good movie. <laughs> Uh, fucking, yeah, and then a bunch of animated movies, some of which are okay. Some of them probably don't hold up on a second watch. Like now, I'm not a child. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So I don't know why. That, like, I just, I did the research. I'm like, fuck it. Today's video is gonna be me talking about Christmas movies, and then realized I probably should have done more re research into, you know, Christmas movies to talk about. Is love, is love actually a thing? I feel like that's a thing that people talk about about around Christmas and stuff. Oh, it's something like that. Like, one of those movies. I don't know. I, 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 I do watch movies, believe it or not. I mean, I do media as a thing. Of course I watch movies. I have a stack of movies over there, which I, I should really take a picture of at some point, because it is the oddest... Co it's it's a bunch of kid... like at, It's, I think, mostly animated kids' movies. Then The School of Rock, which is... I mean, it's still arguably... It kind of it has the capacity to be like a family film. And then The Clockwork Orange... Cause I'm weird. No, it's because I, I, I bought all the others ones up here ages ago and never took them down and then now, you know, then bought a copy of the Clockwork Orange and added it to the pile. And so you now just got kid movie, kid movie, kid movie, like, like animated kids film, animated kids film, animated kids, like I think Roundabout's over there, the, 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 the surprisingly dark, uh, 
Mickle, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, The Three Musketeers, which is a, it's a really good film, but it's surprisingly dark. <laughs> Mickey almost straight up drowns. Like, legitimately. <laughs> like, that that movie is dark. Like, what else is over here? Let's see if I can get to an angle without having to climb over. It is, from bottom to to top, and this, this will say a lot about me as a whole, and again, what I said about movies not holding up now, I've actually grown up and understand cinema more. Uh, Magic Roundabout, as I said. Over the Hedge. Yeah. Uh, Madagascar. Madagascar is a good movie. Uh, the School of Rock. School of Rock is a good movie. It's not the best movie, but it's a good movie. I like The School of Rock. I've learned about a couple of songs from that movie, and it's very good. Uh, Monsters, Inc., which is a excellent movie. Shame the sequel is a prequel and not a sequel. Uh, well, that's the problem. That's the problem with Monsters University. Is everyone's like, we want a sequel. Best we can do is a prequel. Uh, Mikkel, Don, and Go Through the Three Musketeers. Robots, which, in hindsight... I realize I literally just like that film for Robin Williams' character. And then on the top of the pile, The Clockwork Orange. So yes, uh, <laughs> that, 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 is all, that is not all the movies I own. That's just all the movies that are in this room. All the movies I own would also include, like, uh, Scott Pilgrim, Centrinians, for some reason. Like, the, the reboot. Uh, <laughs> these, these are movies that I own, like, as me, not just that are in the house. I should clarify. <laughs> uh, I mean, so I, I want to claim, like... Inception and Sucker Punch, but that just kind of came with the Blu-ray player. Yeah, it was Inception, Sucker Punch, and Batman Begins. I've still not watched Batman Begins. I actually kind of like Sucker Punch just because it's strange and kind of surreal. And yeah, I it, I don't watch it. It's one of those movies you don't watch for the plot. It, you just watch for the idea of it and like the the setting of it and. Or should I say, you don't watch to try and follow the plot, but it does also have that total recall of, was this whole thing in her head the whole time? Or, like, kind of thing. It's weird. It's it's very strange. But, like, to be fair, it's bundled with Inception, so probably a good thing it's strange. I don't, yeah, I'm trying to think of other Christmas movies. I should try and think of other Christmas movies. That was sort of supposed to be the point, not just me, you know outing myself as one of those people that don't like Home Alone or Elf, because they're bad movies. They are bad movies. I don't like them. They're terrible. They give me all kinds of anxiety. I don't like I don't like cringe comedy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't like... Being awkward isn't funny. Being awkward isn't funny. It just gives me anxiety. It's fucking terrible. It's like, yes, I am normal. Like, the, the, the alien pretending to be a human trope. Kill me. Kill me immediately. Just end my end my existence or stop the fucking film right now because oh, I'm just like alien, not gun, yeah, you know, person from another world, not understanding human customs and being all kinds of weird and wrong. It's not quirky and funny. It's awkward and fucking just. I hate it. I hate it so much. This is why I don't watch cringe comp. This is the same reason why I don't watch cringe compilations and stuff like that. Like. It just, I just hate it. I just, I fucking hate it. I hate it so, I hate it with a fucking passion. Like, get better writing. Write, write actual comedy. Write jokes, please. Or some, fucking slapstick. Slapstick's funny. Like, slapstick is better than this. <laughs> it's actually, slap, slapstick has, like, just a bad rap as, like, a thing. But, like, I watch wrestling as you might. I, I, did I open this saying to TLC's tonight? I certainly meant to. Yeah, TLC's tonight. Uh, which means all of our laughs will be sad because the show, because it's WWE and WWE at the moment is just sad and disappointing. Uh, <laughs> but, um, no, actual comedy wrestling, like good comedy wrestling. Fuck. They have Orange Cassidy and Cole Cabana on AEW. My God. Like, that. that is a, like, those two have had a fantastic match where Orange Cassidy spent the entire match holding a beer. Look it up. It's fucking fantastic. I think it's beyond wrestling. Like I could, I could sit here and recommend you comedy matches forever. And it's not all comedy matches are slapstick, obviously. But there is, you know, there are of there are slapstick elements to comedy wrestling, as there is to most things, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, like uh, there's 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 just so much actual comedy that exists, and people keep trying to do cringe comedy, and it kills me. That's why I don't like Elf. I should I should bring that back full circle. That's why I don't like Elf. That's why I think Elf is a shit film because it is an entire movie of person who doesn't belong 
like person from somewhere else in a society like <laughs> that they are not used to acting strange that is the entire film and I fucking hate it <laughs> like I don't know why people like that film that is the whole I just summed up the entirety of Elf like at least I summed up the entirety of the attempt at comedy that Elf does that's it that is it that is the whole film to me it's just p person who is person but not person person doesn't know how to person so is acting weird and strange and look at laugh at them they're being weird and like no that's especially as someone has like I, I kind of have regular anxiety I definitely have social anxiety like people people scare me in the uh, the host you know in sort of a weird way anyway um this has been a really wrong ramble. I, I want to talk, like I told you, I want to talk about stuff more and just actually talk about stuff more. This wasn't prompted by a day to day. It was technically prompted by a day from two days ago that I only thought to research like two seconds before filming this because of someone else tweeting about the character. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the internet hates me, but it was going to hate me because of this because the internet seems to love Home Alone and seems to love Elf. I, mean, I know a hundred. I know loads of people that love Home Alone and love Elf, but it's not. I would love to know why people think it's a good movie, <laughs> especially Elf. Like Home Alone. Okay, I can kind of understand why you might like it. I I don't. I don't. I don't. Like I objectively think it's a bad movie, and that can just be me. But Elf is actually a bad movie. <laughs> it's it's one plot that ends part way through and continues going forever and with one joke through the entire movie that isn't a joke it's just awkward <laughs> i would love i would love someone to give me a better explanation to uh, of elf than that but that is that is my explanation of elf that is my description of elf i don't know I, uh, recommendations just in general of christmas movies actually would be a good topic so i'm gonna say that as a topic yeah go fuck it either is like Either or, actually. Both of them are pretty decent topics. Try and explain to me why the hell you think Elf is a good movie. And I will continue to disagree. Like, Because that's how opinions work. Like, sorry, but that is how opinions work. Uh, <laughs> like, I will, I will forever think that's a bad movie just because it's a lot of cringe comedy and a lot of awkward situations and I can't watch that because it kills me. Or, I, or should I say, I'd rather be dead than watching it. And... Yeah, so I have a answer that question of why the hell do you think Wife Elf is about, is a good movie? Because I think it's fucking awful, and I'd like to know what you actually what like what appeal you actually find in it, or <laughs> recommend some actual Christmas movies. It might be just that I'm not thinking of it at the top of my head, or I legitimately haven't watched it. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a, a a follow up on this if people actually answer. I guess I'm gonna have to share another video. Fuck. Feels like only a couple days ago that I was sharing the... In fact, I shared the elf one. The, I think I shared that one, actually, thinking about it. Because that was, like, that... I think that was the one, like... Yeah, that was the end of my two, like, weird two-day title thing, so... I don't know. I guess I will be sharing this as a f follow-up, technically. Uh, I mean, yeah, I want to start that discussion of... Because, I, again, I know what a lot of people that I know like Elf, and I would really like an explanation as to why. Because it's one of those things that baffles me. It's like why people get offended by swear words. It's an argument for it. It's that, that, I'm saving that rant till that, I'm saving the rants till next year. But that is a thing we'll get to, is I don't understand why people actually get offended by swear words for a whole myriad of reasons that I will get into some other time. But yes, those, those two things in the comments, the, the Elf thing and the Christmas movies, like, like, suggest, because most of them are, like, I, my granddad and my dad, like, they both, like, so they, I don't know if it's a thing they do everywhere, but here in England, we get a 24-hour, like, Christmas movie channel over the holidays, and I can't see a single one that isn't just awful, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just holiday movies in general seem awful to me, because they are trying far too hard to be happy. I mean, that's just me. But anyway, yes, answer those questions in the comments, subscribe, hit the fucking bell, because again, YouTube can't solve problems they have to make more problems uh, <laughs> uh embrace chaos change the world love yourself take care of yourself and do whatever makes you happy you could you can watch the movie like if you like the movie you can like the movie i'm not gonna 
Yo Kyo Yum for liking the movie. I just find it impossible to watch and literally would rather die most of the time because it pains me to watch. And it's great that yeah, we had we had three Christmas movies in primary school. I know I'm gonna I'm trying to sign off, but I think we had three Christmas movies in primary school: Elf, Home Alone, and Muppets Christmas Carol. And you don't understand how much I had to cross my fingers literally every single time that we got a Muppets Christmas Carol, because both of the other movies to me are just what one's cringy and awful, and the other one's bland and boring. <laughs> Again, that's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. You can ignore me entirely. Most people do anyway. Uh, but yes, all those things I just said. I will see you tomorrow. Torah. Bye bye.